and you guys said I would never use this again. <laughs> Come here, Bush Light, I demand you. What the heck? The heck, are the batteries dead? Yeah, hey guys, I uh, usually travel in my motorhome, sleep in my motorhome on the road, doing something a little different. I don't stay in a whole lot of motels or hotels or, this is called a suite. This is called a fantasy suite, in fact. One of uh, many themed rooms here at this place. Stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a lot more information about exactly where I'm at. But right now, I'm just trying to take it all in. I got this recommendation from my friends Sean and Jill at Modified Auto there in East Alton, Illinois. They, they love these rooms. They haven't been to this particular one. This one's called Space Odyssey, as you saw. And it's all space, Star Wars, Star Trek themed. And I love it. So essentially what they've done here at this motel in Clinton, Illinois, is uh, one wing of hallways. Instead of having single rooms, they knocked down some walls and turned them into double rooms. So the bed looks like a UFO spaceship. They've also got dual recliners here, actually three recliners here with a big screen TV. The black fluorescent lights throughout the place. And then of course, your own personal hot tub jacuzzi bath. They got a normal toilet and then they've got a kid's toilet. Wait a minute. Uh, no, they've got a, a mini sink. Wait. What the? I'm not gonna do it. Oh, is that a butt sprayer? That's a butt sprayer. Butt sprayer? That's what it is. A bidet. Sean says you call those a, a bidet, an actual bidet. I know they sell the ones that go on the toilet, but this is a separate unit to just spray in case we ever run out of toilet paper again in this country. Look at this shower. I mean, like actually look at it. Would you just look at it and then look at it? The Rain Dancer, I have never seen anything like this. Look on the ceiling, there's two shower heads. Just water raining down on you. Pretty fancy pants, right? Right there in the room. And then uh, we'll come back out. I am definitely gonna be filling this bad boy up with some hot water. Have a little spa night here, uh-huh. 
This room is so freaking cool, guys. Look at the walls. They got all the stars and everything on them. I think that used to be a projector up there. That bed is just something else, though. Man. Even the ceiling, more black lights and stars. And above the hot tub here, a little starry night scene. <laughs> I think slightly better than the jacuzzi is the bed, though. It's got fantastic theming all the way around. The uh, comforter there. What does that say? The Grand Tour. A once-in-a-lifetime getaway. Pretty neat, man. So this room, uh, this room is an adults only room. Ooh, uh, I don't know the legality on that. Some, some states have passed laws where you can't claim anything as no, no kids or no adults, but doesn't matter. That's literally what it says in the rules. No children allowed ever. This is strictly for two to four adults and there's different price ranges as well. I don't know how you're gonna get four adults in here though. <laughs> Better be some friendly adults, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just gonna be me tonight, just one night away from the kitties and then I'll be back to the RV tomorrow by about noon. Oh, I almost forgot to show the bar. So when you first come in, you got this cool little triangle light there. You got a, you got a little bar. There's a mini fridge down there, a coffee maker, and a microwave. So that's cool beans and everything, but what does this button do? Yes! Oh, it's fantastical. Woo! Uh, for reference, this is what the room looks like with all of the ceiling lights on. You, you have the option. There's switches everywhere. Like even in the bed, there's switches to adjust certain lights. It's not quite as magic. It's almost like the uh, stage lights. Uh, if, if a ride goes under at Disney, it's not quite as magical, but maybe you have some work to get done. These are powered recliners right here. Super comfortable. And there's outlets behind it. There's two air conditioners over there. And again, the place where I'm at, this is just actually a normal hotel. I, I know it doesn't look like that, but they really want you to step inside and forget about real life outdoors. However, if you really want to know what's going on, the windows that are blacked out, you can open them. And as you can see, it's just normal, normal life out there. However, I don't want to go out there too often. I'm going to be ordering some uh, room service here later. Also, I'll go outside and hopefully nobody's out there hearing me talk to myself. But, yeah, it's literally just a normal hotel on the outside. And these are all fantasy suites all the way down here and all the way down there. Yeah, don't, don't ruin the magic, Eric. We're in space. We're, we're, we're in outer space right now. Yeah. All right, let's see. Rope lights, exhaust fan, night lights? No. Star lights? No. Tub lights. There we go. All right. This is my first time ever using one of these Whirlpool hot tub spa jet thingamajigs. I'm going to try to figure it out. Fill it up with some warm water. What is this? No, there's literally no directions. What are all these buttons? Oh, okay, is that hot water? Yeah, that's hot water. I'm gonna close the drain. Am I doing this right, guys? Am I doing this right? I think so. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, it's like a back massager. Uh, uh, Space Lords, beer me. Yes! Oh, I love this place. Holy cow. Mm. Mm. Uh. All right, man, I feel refreshed. That was awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. For galactic room service, press service button on right side of console. Hello, I'm your virtual room service girl. What can I get you tonight? Oh, well, I um, was looking for uh, pizza suggestions. What do you got? I found three local pizza places. 
Casey's Pizza, Monocle's Pizza, or Sorrento's Pizza. Uh, what do you suggest? What's, what's good? I've enjoyed any of those in my mouth. Kidding. I can't taste. I'm a hologram. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> how about a pepperoni from Sorrento's? Sounds delicious. Would you like to add bacon for one dollar? Absolutely, yeah. Coming right up. If you need anything later, I'm right here behind the mirror watching. What? Holy cow! Oh, yeah! I got the, uh, -hoo -hoo, look at that. Look at that, the uh, pepperoni and bacon from Sorrento's there. Oh my, this is, oh. uh, Space Lords, bear me. Thank you, love the service. This smells ridiculous, guys, just so you know. Ridiculous, here we go. Space Lords, clean up. Oh, those are good. Whew. Should I have one more? <laughs> you did drink quite a bit tonight. Maybe you should go lay down and rest up. Don't listen to that rebel scum. Have another Bud Light. I got this, guys. I got it under control. And I mean, I'm just worried about. Shut up, you rebel scum! Let the man drink a Bud Light. Well, this would be my eleventh Bud Light. Let the man drink his eleventh Bud Light. Your words make me feel like you don't care about me, man. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. That that's enough, guys. I got this completely under control. Don't you have a planet to vaporize or some? I mean that in the nicest way, and I'll have one more Bud Light. All right, good morning. I had a lot of fun here. Didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, but it is time to check out. So, gonna say goodbye to the Odyssey Space Suite here. I'm sure I will be back one day to try out another one of these rooms. Let me show you the outside of this place. You wouldn't believe this place. Very, very normal on the outside and just uh, takes you in an, into another world once you step inside the doors. So if you want to check out one of these, Sunset Inn and Suites, that's what it's called. It's in Clinton, Illinois. Also on their main page, they will show you pictures of all the different fantasy suites. But if you go to their Facebook page, that's, that's where the magic's at because People cancel at the last minute and they don't get their refund and they still want to fill those slots for those last minute cancellations. So they advertise those on their Facebook page and that's how you can nab a much better price. Some of these rooms are $250 a night. I nabbed mine for $175 last minute, which was a really good deal in, in my opinion. So I'll put some links to their uh, stuff down below in the video description. I'm gonna head back and see those kitties. I miss them, it's been a whole day now. Ruby, how are you doing, big guy? Sorry it's such a mess in here. Dad's got projects going on, I missed you, Tara. Are you hungry, girl? You're not out of food, you just want more food? Do you want better food? Oh, okay. And you can see this kind of bare. I'm gonna put the other panels from the other RV back onto this fridge. So I've got something. It's naked in here, right, Tara? How long before we get back on the road, Tara? You don't know? You just want num-nums? All right, get the num-nums. Opie says, get the num-nums. Get them. I'm tired of waiting, Dad. And clean up this place, please. What an awesome adventure, guys. I probably won't always put this much effort into all of my future videos. Uh, I just had that creative spark and juices going and uh, I just rolled with it and that was a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys like this style of video, this kind of exploring outside the normal, 
you know, RV travel. Let me know in the comments below what you think or if I could have done something different. At this point, it's just pure entertainment. That was a fun little side tour, and now I know about that place, and maybe I could try out some of the other rooms. Or if you guys have been to some of those other rooms, tell me which ones are some of your favorites and why in the comments. I appreciate it, guys. From Opie and Tara and I, we will be back. We're going to start working heavily on those projects. i got my buddy Robert coming to help me, and then maybe RV Prepper Wayne later this month. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.